Night sweats may happen because the sleep environment is too warm. At this case night sweats are normal. But if, environmental temperature is optimal and person still sweats so much, that night clothes and bedding are soaking wet, it can indicate pathological condition. Night sweats is a nonspecific symptom and can be associated with variety of diseases include malignancies, infections, tuberculosis, menopause symptoms, hot flushes, anxiety, medicines, some antidepressants, steroids, and painkillers, low blood sugar, hyperglycemia, including diabetes, alcohol or drug use. Sometimes we cannot define underlying cause called hyperhidrosis that makes you sweat too much all the time. Although many life-threatening causes such as malignancies or infections have been described as underlying cause of night sweats, but most patients who report persistent night sweats in the primary care setting do not have a serious underlying disorder. When the history and physical examination do not reveal a specific cause, physicians should proceed with a systematic and cost-conscious strategy that uses readily available laboratory and imaging studies, such as a complete blood count, tuberculosis testing, thyroid-stimulating hormone levels, HIV testing, C-reactive protein level, and chest radiography. The most common conditions commonly associated with night sweats include menopause, mood disorders, gastroesophageal reflux disease, hypothyroidism, and obesity. Night sweats in women over 40 is the hormonal changes, related to menopause and perimenopause. Perimenopause is a natural stage of life. It is not a disease or a disorder. Therefore, it does not automatically require any kind of medical treatment. But night sweats and hot flashes during this period can be managed hormone replacement therapy, or mindfulness and cognitive behavioral therapy. Anxiety. At this case, night sweats can be accompanied with feeling nervous, restless or tense. Having a sense of impending danger, panic or doom, having an increased heart rate, breathing rapidly, hyperventilation. The presence of night sweats alone does not indicate an increased risk of death. But when night sweats can also be related to serious illnesses like cancers, lymphoma, leukemia, infections, HIV, AIDS, tuberculosis, diabetes mellitus, nocturnal hypoglycemia, endocrine tumors, pheochromocytoma, carcinoid, and other conditions. Autoimmune disorders, such as rheumatoid arthritis can also cause night sweats. Hyperhidrosis. It is a relatively rare condition, in which body produces excessive sweat for unknown reasons. Common places to sweat can include underarms, face, neck, back, groin, feet, and hands. Sometimes medications can cause hyperhidrosis, it is called secondary hyperhidrosis. Use of selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors is a common cause of medication-induced secondary hyperhidrosis. Other medications associated with secondary hyperhidrosis include tricyclic antidepressants, stimulants, opioids, nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs. Management Topical agents for hyperhidrosis therapy include formaldehyde lotion and topical anticholinergic medication. Aluminium chlorohydrate is used in regular antiperspirants. However, hyperhidrosis requires solutions or gels with a much higher concentration. Food and Drug Administration approved a glycopyronium bromide containing disposable cloth, brand name Kbrexa, for the treatment of primary axillary hyperhidrosis. Hyperhidrosis affects around 3% of the population of the United States.